All right, guys, welcome to episode 55 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. We're back with another episode, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, sharing, liking, subscribing, all that good shit. And uh, yeah, man, we're glad to see you guys back. Um, Vibing. But yeah, bro, we're, we're going to start this episode today, guys, with a moment of silence for everybody that we've lost this year. Um, personally, I don't know if you guys know, but in the last couple months, John and I both have had you know, losses in the family. Um, I lost two uncles in a fucking span of like two weeks, which was fucking crazy. Uh, John's grandpa just passed away recently this past week. And it's just, it's, it's been one of those years, man, where, you know, we want to let you guys know that we're with you. Our prayers are with you. Our thoughts are with you. And everybody that's lost somebody, you know, our heart goes out to you. So, you know, we're going to light this joint right quick and give Facts. a moment of silence light it up, light it for up. everybody that passed away this year. May they rest in peace. Well, yeah. Back All right, guys. We're back with another episode, episode 55, man. How you feeling, Johnny, boy? I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling lit. I took a couple shots of the hen dog. You know what I mean? We got, you know, I'm double cup. When you see me with double yeah, cup, this double means... double cup means something, man. That means I'm drinking. <laughs> when that double cup comes out, it's one of those nights. It's a whole other Johnny that comes it's out. It's one of those nights. You know I'm, what I mean? I be acting like, bro, I'm going to tell you what, bro. This nigga <laughs> acts like he owns a fucking Ferrari dealership or something. Nah, I be acting like, bro, my stank don't, like, my, my shit don't stank, bro, yeah, you know bro. what I mean? I be acting, like, real, like, I'm just not, I'm not really myself, bro, when I'm drinking. Let's just say yeah, that. Yeah, bro. Your humbleness goes away. Because, yeah. You know. Your judgment. Yeah. You yeah, know, shit like that. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. You get a li- little liquid courage. That's why you see a lot of these niggas out here getting knocked the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> right in front of bars and shit, because nah, they get a little bit of liquid courage, bro, and, you know? Yeah, bro, like... When my grandfather passed away, I fucking, I drank like, bro, the whole entire day. Like, the whole entire day. And I ended up, you know, just not acting like myself. And I kind of apologized to the person the next day because I was, you know, I was out of pocket. You know what I mean? Nah, nigga. It's one of those situations where it's understandable. You just lost your grandpa, bro. Yeah, yeah. And she wasn't mad at me for it. Like, she understood. (laughs) Like, she was like, all right. She knows, like, this is not my behavior. You know right. what I mean? Like, she knows because we've gotten drunk multiple times before, and I've never acted like that, you know? So, it was just the situation that I was in. The, it, was a, it was a lot of emotions, you know? I was angry. I was, I, was, I, was, I was sad, you know? I was confused. I was like, man, I was still in shock. Like, what the fuck, you know? And uh, But the next day, I, I apologized to that person. I was like, yo, like, I fucked up. And she was like, nah, you good, you know? <laughs> like, it's not... Like, she was joking around. Like, she was like, good. Like, I hope you feel like a dick. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but, but she wasn't, like, personally mad at me. Like, man, he's a piece of shit or whatever. So, but no, yeah, like, you, we do stupid shit sometimes. But I'm usually a lover. I'm not really, like, a angry type of drunk guy. You know what I mean? I'm more of, like... Yeah, bro. <clears throat> I'm the same way. I'm a happy, fun, you know, fun-going, love, like, drunk guy, like... Yeah. I don't know. Niggas that get all mad and shit and want to fight when they're drunk, I feel like it's deeper problems, deeper issues that they're dealing with that comes out when they're drunk. Yep. You know what I mean? But that's something that, that I wanted to talk about, man. Like, being drunk versus being high. <coughs> like, the difference of being drunk versus being high. And <coughs> it's something that our boy Jay, he's been on the show before. Shout out, Jay. Um, he He mentioned to you. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, like, drunk people, you know, a lot of drunk people get drunk, do things that they regret, don't remember, you know, yeah. and end up either fucking up their lives, you know, getting pregnant on a one night stand, you know, like, going to jail for the rest of their life because they fucking did some crazy shit. Like, there's a lot of shit that people do on alcohol that is just crazy and it fucks up your life. But you could go buy as much alcohol out of the liquor store as you could afford. Meanwhile, marijuana, you know, you get high. There's never been a case where you could really say that marijuana is the, the cause of, you know, somebody doing something stupid and causing death. So yeah, it's, it's true. 
it's one of those things where it's fucked up. Like, you can buy as much alcohol as you want, as you can afford. But when it comes to weed, bro, you, you go to a dispensary and they're... There's a limit. Oh, you can't buy more than an eighth or a quarter or an ounce or whatever the fuck it yeah, is. Yeah, I think it's like two ounces in a month or something like that that they can't buy. That is fucking And it's like, ass. It's like I know people that smoke an ounce in a day. Facts. I know people <laughs> that smoke an ounce a week. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty normal. regular. Normal, you know, yeah. That's pretty regular for, you know, for the regular smoker to smoke about an ounce a week, right? And if you're only allowed to get an ounce... Every two weeks or some crazy shit like that's fucking ass. Yeah, that's crazy. No wonder. Plus, they're taxing you. <laughs> yeah, facts. And you're gonna limit. Plus, you're gonna tax. It's like fuck. Like you're fucked either way. Like where else am I gonna go? It's kind of like I'm gonna go back nah, to the black bro. market. Like, <laughs> I honestly feel like like alcohol should have been illegal before fucking marijuana. Yeah. Because now, like you gotta think about it like this. This is another side of, of, of the coin. Like, now, there's a bunch of people in fucking prison for nonviolent drug offenses, other words, getting caught with weed, that they're doing decades in fucking prison, they're doing fucking years in prison. Meanwhile, these billionaires that lock these niggas up for fucking selling weed are now investing into the fucking market and investing into the marijuana game, and now they're going to reap the benefits of the shit that these other niggas built. Because honestly, bro, like, the black market built the marijuana game, man. It's true. Like, the OGs built that shit. And mm-hmm. they, you know, they sacrificed blood, sweat, tears, and years of their yeah. fucking life. So, in my opinion, I don't know, man. Should marijuana be legal? I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change the game completely. And it's like, it's, it's true like you were saying, though. It's like what Jay was saying. He was like, man, like. Like, more women can be taken advantage of, like, when they're drunk compared to being high. Because you never hear anybody saying, man, I was so high, I don't, like, like, something major. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe the little things, like, you'll forget. But, like, something major like that, like, being raped or being taken advantage of that night, like, you don't hear that from a pothead. Just from a pothead or just a, just a night of you smoking. You know what I mean? But you hear it from, like, nights of, like, women, you know, getting alcohol involved and getting too drunk. And then, yeah, they get taken advantage of. Yeah, that yeah. happens a lot. And I mean, it all comes down to we, control. We can't right. sit here and act like, you know, like people haven't been laced before and shit like that. Like, people get laced. You know what I mean? There's, you know, I've been laced. Me too. We, you know, it's not a good fucking time. But it's so fucking rare. It's so rare to hear that. Yeah. To hear it. And, and, and once you know what the fuck you're looking at, honestly, once you get educated about your, your, your herb, like it's it's kind of hard to fool somebody. Like somebody that really knows what the fuck they're looking at, they could look at a bud and be like, "Yo, this shit's that like it, it has pesticides in it." Like that's how far it could go if you know what the fuck you're talking about. But I don't know, guys. Go down in the comments and let yeah, us let know. us know. Yeah, for real. Let us know for real, for real. Because everybody got their own opinion. Like I see people talking about, oh, like <clears throat> you know, weed shouldn't be legal, and they give a whole explanation on why and. Like, everybody has their opinion at the end of the day. Like, maybe yeah, they just everybody's have... entitled to their opinion, too, you know? Exactly. Right. So, um, but yeah, I really think, like, it's just all corruption at the end of the day. It's all corruption. Like, yeah, when bro. it comes down to all this, what's being legal, what's not, like, who's making the money. Like, that's all what it yeah, comes down to at, at the end of the day. It's not about what's healthy anymore. It's not about that. Mm-mm. It's never been. It hasn't been for, yeah, for a long, long time. But yeah, man, talking about this marijuana shit, man, we want to shout out to Burner, bro. Oh, fuck shout yeah. Shout out to fucking Burner, bro. That, <laughs> like, that's one of my idols in life. And it's crazy because he got one of the 22 fucking, uh, one of the 22 licenses in Florida to be able to cultivate marijuana in the state and sell it. Oh, yeah, you're so, telling me, yeah, Miami. Cookies, yeah, Cookies is coming to Miami, and I'm fucking excited, bro. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, because I've know? I've really like I've tried cookies, you know what I mean, but I've never really went to a dispense like an actual like cookies dispensary and right. actually bought. And like, the, it's a, it's an experience, you know. Yeah, like, I'm gonna go there, bro. I'm gonna show love, man, because where Facts. Burner came from to where he's at now, like I I I just respect the hustle, bro, and I want to support, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hopefully, he's down there when we go. That would be. Cool. If he goes, if he does a grand opening, bro, I'll go camp out. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, because I really want to take a picture. Like, I will fucking camp out, bro. Yeah, me too. It's one of those things where it's like, so I, respect, I respect him. 
I respect him. He's real too, man. His music, like you be listening to his music, you're like man, like yeah, that's some bro. real shit, yeah, bro. Be talking this shit. Yeah. I really feel like he did some shit like in the cartel and all that shit. Like he was fucking with the cartels and all that. Like he be saying. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Never know, man. You never know. You, it might you, just be art. It might be. It might just be. It might just be art. Yeah. You know? Might might just be part of the art. But that motherfucker does like music with everybody. Nah, bro. He networks, man. Yeah, he's versatile. And that's something that's really important. That's why, like, I've been trying to talk to to <laughs> certain people to come on the show and shit like that because, like. You told me that before, bro, and it's true. Like we gotta, we gotta start reaching out, networking, and showing other locals love, and just build, like, just building a network, you yeah. know, with people that are on the same grind and on the same mindset and on the same come up. You know what I mean? But it's yeah, true. man, I want to get something. In the, I want to get into um, this cashless society shit that I've been seeing a lot. Of, like, yeah, that's on true. The internet and. You know, supposedly experts are saying that within our lifetime, by the end of our lifetime, there's not going to be any more cash. It's going to be cashless. It's only going to be cryptocurrency that you're going to be able to buy shit with and use. So that's crazy. That sounds fucking insane. I. It's weird. Like I don't. I don't see it happening. You know, like, because, like, this country was built on cash, and it's such a radical movement in such a short amount of time. Yeah. I don't really think it'll happen within our lifetime. It will happen. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. It will happen. It might not within our lifetime, but it will happen. But that just, fuck, man. Like, if you start thinking about it, like, that'll cripple everything black market. Well, what about strip clubs? It'll cripple a lot. Well, nah. They already do Venmo and all this oh, other they shit. Do. Yeah, yeah, that's they got true. Cash I didn't think about and... that. That's true. They got cash app Yeah, you don't got to go to the club with a fucking dollar anymore. Yeah, that's so true. I want to go with a... You know, I like throwing money. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Like, it's a different vibe. But it's... I don't know, man. It, it's weird, bro, where, where we're heading. And if that's the case, bro, like I said, the black market is going to take a hit because there's literally no way that the black market could survive without cash, bro. So everybody that, you know, rather go to your street dealer instead of the dispensary or whatever it is, like, I mean, nigga, you're going to be fucking shit out of luck. You're, you're going to be, be shit out of luck. You're going to be shit out of luck. Like, you're not going to like the fucking prices. I mean, and I'm, I'm looking at, like, there's this app. I'm not even going to say the name, but this is an app that I follow, and it, like, tells me, like, not an app, it's a page on this app, and it tells me, you know about it, and it tells yeah, you. Yeah, Blacklist. Yeah, there you Blacklist go. Blacklist XYZ. Yeah, and we follow them, and they be speaking facts about, like, what's going on, mm-hmm. like, in the background, you know what I yeah, mean? And, and it's, yeah. like, like I be seeing pictures of, like, dispensary-level flour that they be getting, and, and it's, it's like, and it's trash. And they're, $60 and, an eighth. Yeah. People complain it's $60 an eighth, and the nugs have mold. Yeah, like mold. A, it's not trimmed what? right. It's older weed from like you know from it's two three months ago, six months ago. Sometimes I'm like, I mean, listen, that's man, that, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen in any market, legal or not. But to have mold in your shit at a dispensary, my nigga. Yeah, like you're oh spo- you're supposed to be light. What's the point of all the licenses? What's the point of What's all the this point of yeah taxing permits. people all this fucking money to ensure. The safety. Ensure the safety and the quality yeah. of your product. Yeah, exactly. So you're fucking sitting here and paying twice as much for some shit that fucking Ricky could have gave you down the fucking block for $30. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. It's fucking crazy, man. But it's all a, it's all a gig, man. It, I mean, but shit happens too, bro. I don't know, man. It, it, but shit does happen. Listen, it's going to happen regardless. Listen, not y'all dispensaries need to tighten up with that shit. If y'all going to be sitting out here fucking raping us on the price and shit like yeah. that, bro, at least make sure that your quality's up to par. I'm going to tell you what, though. Make sure your quality's up to par. That's all I say. I had I had a great first experience going into a dispensary. I, you know, I went to Connecticut in March to go see a homegirl and shit, and weed is not legal there. So what I did... It was like near Springfield, Massachusetts, like right on the border. It was about right. 45 minutes drive. So I was like, man, I'm not going to sit here and ask somebody on the street that I don't know, give them money, just get robbed, something. Something could happen. You know what I mean? So I don't have my gun on me because you can't have a pistol up there and mm-hmm. shit like that. You know, all that all that bullshit. So <clears throat> I went to the dispensary, drove up there. It was right in the beginning of that COVID shit too. So no one was taking it like seriously at all. And... Um, they had they did it really well the, the way that they set it up like it was like bro 
the building looked kind of sketch though. It was like a big ass brick old factory looking type of fucking place in the cut. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. You would look at it and you would never tell it to dispensary. I they think you went to an actual trap, Jones. No, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I walked in there, bro. I walked in there, bro, and I was like, holy shit. And I told them I was from Florida. I gave them my ID. They put it in the basket. And they're like, oh, you're from Florida? I'm like, yeah, it's my first time in dispensary. And they're just like, holy shit, for real? I'm like, yeah. I was like, well, damn, this is awesome. They're like, yeah, bro. Well, it was a white guy with some dreads and shit. Like, he was some, like, he was, he was gnarly looking. You know what I mean? Like, he was like, like, he was gnarly. He was gnarly. And he was awesome, though. And I was like, man, just give me the best shit you fucking got, man. And he was like, for real? I was like, yeah. And I was like, he's like, how much you looking? How long you staying? I was like, man, just give me a quarter. I'm only going to be here for two days. He's like, all right, bet. And he gave me some shit called Alien, Alien something, and then some other shit. I forgot the name of it, but it was like packaged beautiful. It was nice. Like the bud was fucking crystally as shit. It was some hey, loud. Man. When you ask for the best, it better be the best. I never got you know that high mean? in my life, but that was a hundred and twenty dollar quarter. So I better fucking. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Gotta, like you gotta pay for, bro. Listen, man. People want gas, but it's like, bro. And that's not papers included, motherfucker. Yeah, like, you got, you got to pay for quality. That's what anything, bro. Yeah. You could go get a Honda or you could go get a Maserati. You see what I'm saying? Like, It's all up to you. It's all up to you yeah. and what your quality and your standards are. Facts. But, nah, man. I wanted to shout out the fucking Akon. I don't know if we talked about it on here before. I'm pretty sure that we have. But Akon is starting his own city in Africa. I heard about that. He has given, I don't know how many people in Africa, I think it's in the hundreds of thousands, if I'm not mistaken, if not millions of people across Africa, electricity through solar panels and shit like that. And Holy shit. And, yeah, bro. And he now he's working on making his own city, which you'll be able to visit by 2026. It's not too far it's away. It's not too far away. <laughs> what the fuck? But, a whole city. But, yeah, he said that he's going to have a school, hospital, fucking everything that you need to really have a city, bro. Like a real city. And I'm moving But there. you're not going to be able to go there with any other type of currency but cryptocurrency. So you won't be able to take cash, no type of American, no type of money, period. No currency. So if you don't have a coin, yeah. you won't be able to go to Acon City. But this nigga is genius. Like he's the owner of the city. Salute, shout out, bro. Yo, salute. Just Akon. before that, bro. Just the fact that they try to talk shit millions. about him doing six nine songs, and I was just like, bro, I still like. Listen, man, I still salute Akon because of what he's doing for people. I think that move right there is like, hey, man. I don't know what his motives were. I don't know what, you know, who knows? Who knows? But salute him for doing that for sure, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit is different, man. Like, you're yeah. giving people electricity where they never had it. You're starting a whole city. Like, fucking Wakanda. Wakanda. That's Wakanda. No, that's basically. That's no, they did a meme. Yeah. No, that's. Li yeah, that's they literally going to be Wakanda, bro. That's crazy. It's, it's fucking wild, man. But shout out to him, bro. Because to come to come from where he came from, bro. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like he was literally, you know, he was he was the artist of like he was around for a long time, like like throughout oh, yeah, whole he, entire like lives almost. Nah, but he was the shit in the early 2000s. Yeah, like he I was, wanna make love, nah, nah, nah. Even before that, yeah. bro, locked, locked up, up, fucking uh, yeah. blame on me. Blame on me. Oh you could put God. the blame on me. The yeah, because everybody felt so, that shit. Because everybody fucked up, bro. <laughs> it's real, bro. Like, and as a man, you gotta know, like, you gotta know how to take accountability. Like, accountability for your actions. Accountability yeah. for what you do, man. You can't just run around doing shit and not fucking yeah. manning up for it. Yeah, he was speaking facts for sure, and and locked up is like a song that you don't really need to be sampled or or, or fucked with. That's kind of like, that was a classic. Yeah, for you to like, do that was kind of and like, then to let him out of all people fucking do it, bro. Yeah, you nah, know what I mean. It's yeah. like come on, man. Like that shit. This dude had a wig on and shit, and like singing the song. Yeah, and he's getting like, his hair done, <laughs> you know, like a female and just like, and it's not even about that, you know. It's not. It's I'm not. not trying to be judgmental, but it's just like, come on, bro. 
out of all the yeah. people that have been locked up and let out of prison, why didn't you let Meek <laughs> Mill hop on that shit? For real. He was or locked Gucci up. Gucci Mane. Or fucking Kodak. Or somebody. Fact, well, I mean, he's not out yet. But, but he, you know, he's locked <laughs> up. Shit, Bobby Smurda, bro. He's about to Facts. come out. They, I would have waited for yo, Bobby, bro. Denied bail, bro. Yeah, he's yeah he's coming home next year, though. Yeah. He's coming home next year. At least he tried. Shit. Fuck it, man. You know, sometimes, you know. When you go against the system, the system's going to go against you. Facts. Period. It's true. So, it ain't going to be nice to that nigga. But, yeah, man. I'm going to tell you what, John. You put me on some shit the other day, bro. And I thought you was on the sun. What happened? What I do? Because well, usually when I do I shit thought, like that, I don't think I'm on I the sun. I thought you was on the sun. And I was like, yo, this nigga might have got one. Got what? He might have had one. Oh, had one of these bitties? Like what? No, no, no. Oh. This is the day you ordered that special box. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah. Yo, that special box, bro. Yo, listen, guys. There's this fucking shit in Domino's this nigga put me on to. Yeah. This fat ass nigga. I'm a fat ass motherfucker. I'm skinny. He told me he's like, hey, bro, if you're trying to save a couple dollars for twenty five dollars, you can get two fucking medium pizzas. Some fucking breadsticks or some shit, and then like some cinnamon shit, you know, and a two liter. I was like, what? Yeah, bro, for like 25 bucks. For 25 buckaroos. Yeah. I was like, you know what, Marvin? That sounds like a fucking plan. 25 fucking shit. dollars. And 25 it is. It's a, it's a steal. It's literally a steal, but I see why. <laughs> because they because fucking that put some. Shit is going to fuck up your asshole. <laughs> They're going to throw some spices in there. I don't know what they do with the bro, ingredients I to change it up. Myself. Maybe. It cooks faster. Though. I shit myself four times in one night, though. Nah, but I wasn't shitting myself, so it was weird. Nah, huh? that shit was, bruh. I don't know what they did to the pizzas, right? <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool. It's He's the perfect so he, that's fucking a, box. Yeah, it's a special fucking box. So I call this nigga another night. We chilling, whatever. We order another another special box. <laughs> <laughs> Another I was spot. like, I was like, let me see if it's if it was just me being a bitch that night or if it's really you know fucking me up. Yeah, bro, that was really fucking. That me second up. night, bro, I shit myself even more. I was sitting here, we were about to start a podcast, man. You remember that? Yeah. And I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Like, For real, I was like, bro, <laughs> I'll see you in about twenty fucking minutes. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> yo, that shit was so bad. That shit was stinking up. That shit was coming from over here, this like from nigga, where I'm sitting yo, at. I fucking up this whole house <laughs> trying to fuck around and get rid of that special box. You killed the fucking deer in the wall twice. Bro. I wouldn't give a fuck. I'll kill him again if that special <laughs> box hits me wrong. Damn. I was <laughs> fucked up, bro. Nah. Nah, my stomach was rumbling for like 12 hours. I don't know what's weird, bro, but like when I fart, like it's okay, right? For me, for like when it smells. But when someone else fucking so, farts, bro. See, guys, his shit really, he really think his shit nah, does like stink, he, that's literally, it, No, this bro. is everybody, bro. Nah, fuck out of here, I be smelling my shit like, yo, them shit, that shit was horrid. <laughs> that shit was trash. Put the window down. It'd be only me in the car and shit. Nah, I don't give a fuck. Nah, that shit happened. But like, when you when you smell somebody else's farts. Nah, it's it like, hits you different. It hits you fucking differently. And you're kind of just like, God. Like particles the of their f- asshole are in your nose. You ever fucking just. Stuck on your nose hairs and shit. You ever see somebody and you walk past them and you hold your breath? Because you just don't want to fucking breathe. What the fuck is next to them? <laughs> it's, it's shit happened to me multiple times. Oh my god, yeah. That's crazy. Bad. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Yeah. <coughs> we appreciate everybody that came back. Like and share, subscribing, and just supporting, man. We really do love you guys. For real, for real. For real Stay tuned. You. We will be giving a fucking something away. We can't say because we don't know. We don't know. But we are doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. We will be having some merchandise soon. And uh, yeah, guys, stay safe and tell somebody you love them. Peace.